Here we are at the topmost whale in the system. It's uh, full to capacity and overflowing at the spillway, which is on the other end, all the way down at the end of this ditch. Down here is the ditch, and the spillway is actually all the way on the other end for this whale. It's, uh, it's on a little bit steeper incline than is normal, but I wanted one up high, and this was as close as I could get because I do have a my dad's septic system leach field is right behind it so I had to could obviously couldn't dig in there um, we're up at the top here and this ditch is running water and nearly filled the new dam that we have dug this week and we're seems to be holding behind it I don't see a, a water coming out from under the dam uh, it should fill to the top of the culverts and then that should be about as full as it'll get and it'll the water will come out at the spillway all the way at that end so you kind of see an overview of what it looks like and right now it's filling from two places the swale is picking up the rainwater runoff from the top from this field this whole field behind it and directing it into the pond through the through the uh, through the swale, the back flood swale through the culverts. You can see it running right here, and it's totally handling the flow. I mean, I could have put one culvert and it would have handled it, but you know we build for for 50 to 100 year events, and even then you're just hoping that it won't wash away. And it's also being fed from this end. Uh, which is coming out of the woods if you follow this ditch goes all the way up into the woods to the ridge and that's that's quite a big catchment and if this pond will hold I'm gonna build more ponds in this uh, in this ditch so you see the uh, the three spillway or the three swales here are all full so there's this one, well there's the one behind me which is the topmost, then there's this one which is the back flood swale into the dam, then there's the one next down in line which actually picks up the, the spillway from the dam and puts it back under the road here through these culverts and then puts it back where it was before. And then the next one in line spills actually all the way into the, spill, the swale by the house which then goes under the road over by the gate and enters the two swales that are in the orchard over over there on the left of the road and then empties into the pond so you'll kind of see what the the uh, what the watershed actually looks like here um, for this particular part of the field and I'm gonna go around and kind of show you what it looks like when the ponds are filling and the sound and and this is the first time this one has ever had water in it so it's kind of exciting enjoy so we're down in the ditch at the back side of the dam. Kind of see the water coming down the middle of the ditch from the woods. It's a significant amount of water flowing on the surface here. And as you can see, it's just start going right into the dam where we want it. And the flags are the water line, so it's nearly full. It's within a foot or two of being full. And uh if we go around, we'll see the back flood swale in action. I'm trying to protect the camera here. I'm just rolling with my old cannon right now. That's all I really got to work with. So here's the back flood swale. You kind of see the swale is, it's not filling because I've allowed the water to leave through these culverts. And the swale can't fill until the pond fills. So as the pond fills to its level, the swale will fill all the way to its full capacity. So right now, it's just catching the runoff from this field right down into the swale. And that's all that water is dumping right into the pond right now. And as the pond fills, what will happen 
is it will reach, the water will reach the level of the spillway that's installed over here. And you'll see we're coming up on the spillway, this break in the swale, the mound, the break in the swale mound. And once the water reaches this level, it will spill over this spillway and fall down into the next whale and then exit over there where it goes underneath the road and then back into its natural course. So that's how the back flood swale is working so far. I'm happy with it. And it looks like my levels are all right and it looks like a safe thing. Um, I want to make sure it's operating before I go showing everyone about it. We're going to go over to another pond. Enjoy. Okay, this will be the final video for the bulldozer swale, I think. You can see it's filled. Uh, the spillway is on the other end, turns out, which is just fine. That keeps it going through the field a, a lot farther distance than if it would come out on this end and just fall in there. You can see I added the other three swales. So there's one, two, and then the third one is, is down there, you can see. So they're all full, they're all overflowing, and uh, the only issue I have is down here at this one. It's overflowing where I wanted it to, but not exactly how I wanted it to, because I have a new pond here, or a new dam here, and what I wanted to have happen is for the water to come out of this swale and spill over right there into the pond and it is but only about a third of the water so you see it's coming out of the swale here's the spillway and it's pouring down heading towards the dam and part of it is going down into the dam where i want it but the other part of it a significant part of it is actually pouring out over here behind the dam which is not what i want but that's an easy fix. I'll just bring some of this material here once it's dried out, of course, and make this mound a bit higher here. Um, you can see there's a mound going right through here, and I thought it would be high enough to catch that, but it's just not high enough. So I'll bring it up, uh, you know, five or eight inches, and that should catch all of the water coming out of this swale which is in turn catching all the water coming out of this field, this top field, and putting it into this dam. Um, I'm kind of surprised that there's no water coming out of the woods for this one, but that just goes to show you how, how much of a sponge the woods really is. The forest is a sponge. So it's absorbing all of this crazy heavy rain that's filling all my systems. The forest is not letting any of it out right now. So the forest is actually functioning as a water harvesting system, which is really impressive. So I'm going to go down to the lower pond and uh, take a video there. Enjoy. Okay, so here's the second to last swale in the catchment. And it is full. And here's the spillway. And it is overflowing. You see how deep the water is here. It's up to almost the top of my boot, probably 15 inches of water. Deeper in some spots, you can see the water just kind of gently spills over the top of the pasture and gets stuck up in this, uh, the bottom swale, which is actually integrated into the garden. Uh, and this, this whole section here is more of a drain because of where the house is, I couldn't exactly follow the contour without getting within like five feet of the house, which was unacceptable because bulldozers tend to push push uh, cinder block basement walls inside your house, which is where you, you don't want them to be pushed in. But here's where the uh, actual swale begins again, where it's on contour instead of slightly against the contour. Um, I do have right here there's two culverts two 10 inch culverts going under the the road here so the water leaves this field via these two culverts and is allowed to travel under the road to the uh, 
to this to this whale, which is actually the orchard is built on this whale. Um, there's one more whale down here, just as a uh, as a fail safe to kind of just make sure I get every drop of water I can get and funnel it towards the pond. We got the ducks here. Incidentally, if you look at where they were yesterday, is really holding water. You can kind of see the squares where they were are like puddles. So they are sealing. Their manure does seal the ground. Um, we'll go down by this lower pond and see the bottom of the catchment. And uh, hopefully we can catch the whole rain event today and not have any exit our final spillway and uh, keep all the water here. You know, catch the whole resource, which is what we're after. So the pond is significantly higher than it was yesterday. And this uh, swale behind me, we'll go over by the spillway for it. And it is spilling. So the this is our spillway for this uh, swale, which kind of goes through the woods and picks up the picks up the original ditch which used to go through the woods here to the lower field but I put in a bank and I turned it so it would also come into my my, my catchment I want to catch it all because that was a lot of water in that ditch and it still is so I'm catching it all and as you can see this is a this only runs like this when it's raining normally it's dry and it comes in and it falls into my silt catch. So I have kind of a pond, a pond here behind a pond. So this is the main pond. So the water flows down this channel and stops in this silt catch and gives the, the, the any particulate matter that's suspended in the water a chance to fall out of the water before spilling into the into the pond, the main pond. And eventually you can see there's some stuff starting to grow here. But eventually what I'm hoping is this will be really grown over with uh, all kinds of swampy kind of plants that like the, the water. And it'll act as more of a, a, a more efficient filter than just uh, stopping the water. It'll also have to run through a bunch of plants and their root systems and they should filter out a lot of the, the dirt, the uh, silt and uh, give the pond a much clearer appearance, which it definitely is not clear right now. But this is a brand new earthwork. These are, these are less than, even the oldest stuff is less than two years old. And it is uh, definitely not optimized yet, nor is it grown in yet. And as you can see, this is what happens when you don't put your topsoil back properly. It takes a really long time for stuff to grow. So. I can't stress it enough, if you're going to build these kind of things, put the topsoil back. So that's the whole catchment and uh, we'll hope, we'll hopefully we'll catch the whole event. It's still raining pretty good, but we'll see. Enjoy! Alright, yeah, well that's it for the event. It looks as though we caught the whole thing. The uh, pond is just short of being full. The upper pond didn't fill all the way, or it didn't spill over the spillway. It's within six or eight inches of being full. And I did not have any water flowing out of the last spillway in the system, so it caught the whole event, which is, which I think is pretty neat. And this pond is, it'll clear up. And uh, we'll have ducks out in it tomorrow, and hopefully we can start sealing it. It looks like a word bubble, like from a comic book strip, comic strip, and you have a, a word bubble over someone's head with the writing in it. <laughs> anyway, enjoy.